Hey guys, welcome to Moby Matic App Builder. I'm quickly going to take you through the process of publishing a basic app. So let's go over here and go create a new application. We're going to give it a name. Beach Restaurant Create. You will then be presented with a templates page on which there is a whole bunch of different templates for different businesses and business styles. Uh, more templates will be added as we go along. We can pick a template for the type of application that we want to do as that would make our task go a little bit faster. We're just going to use this one, Red & Co. It's a restaurant template, so let's go with it. Okay, once you've chosen your template, you can just scroll, scroll down and choose your layout. Now, choose your layout pretty much means the actual layout on the screen, the layout of your button. So you can see there's a whole bunch of different layouts. At the current moment, we've chosen this one. We can go with the little round ones. And as you will see on the right hand side over here, on the live preview, you will see how it changes and what it looks like. Let's go with the round buttons. They look quite nice, I think. There's also four different phone sizes that you can use to double check what your layout will look like. Now we're going to choose our home page image. We have to upload three different image sizes here to make sure that we are prepared for the different phone screen sizes. Although you don't have to go and pre-crop the images, you can just pick an image and you can crop it in the Mobimatic app builder. Once you've uploaded your images, you can choose, have a few choices that you can make at the bottom here. You can use those images through all your applications pages. You can hide the iOS status bar and you can hide the Android status bar. We're not going to choose any of those. The next thing we have to pick is our country. The reason we have to do this is that Mobimatic can preset all the currencies and everything for all the features of the app so that it works fine. Let's pick the United States. And then the next choice we have to make is our font style. You can choose different fonts if you want to. Times New Roman, all of that. I'm just going to stick with Arial. I like the Arial font. Then I'm going to press save and continue. That will take me to the colors. This is where we can pick our app colors. So if you have a look over there, let me just click on set Neil. That is your header. You can see the pink over there is the pink over there. If we take it and we want to make it a little bit more orangey. Here we go. Let's go for something a bit more like that. Uh, that is our header and we can change the text colors, the background colors and the border colors. Our home page here we can change the text colors. Let me just go back to the home page. Uh, text colors. As you can see, I'm changing the text color on the button there. I don't think pink is going to stand out, so let's just leave it at white. Or maybe we can go for... Nope. I think we're going to stick to white. There we go. That's our background, our border in the actual image. We've got our list colors, our card colors. You'll have to play around with it and see which ones work where, but you pretty much have control over all the colors in your application. I generally come back once I've designed the whole application and then just double check my colors to make sure that everything works with my images uh, that I've added into the application. But for now, we're going to stick with these colors. So let's just go through here and we go save and continue. Now this will take us to the pages or the features section. This is where we add the inner workings into our application. All of these features or pages are pre-designed, drag and drop, and you can just drop them into your application. So we've got our set meal, which can be our menu. Let's drop a booking in. Let's drop a contact form in and let's drop a loyalty card in and let's drop a Facebook connection in. 
So there we go. These are some of the pages in our app. Now we're quickly going to do the settings for each page. Facebook, we can set the icon if we want. We can change the icon. We can change the page name. So let's change it to Facebook feed. And now we're going to put in our fan page ID. Our fan page ID, we get on our fan page. We just go to the about section, drop down to the bottom there, and we will see our Facebook page ID. We just copy this and drop it into there and there we go our facebook feed pops up immediately all right let's do our loyalty card for the loyalty cards we're going to add a new loyalty card we're just going to change it to opening loyalty card uh, and we're going to give the card a name Loyalty, we can change everything on Mobimatic. Let's pick nine different points that the guy needs to get. What will his reward be? A free coffee and one point equals ten dollars spent. So for every ten dollars he spends at the shop, he will get one loyalty point. We allow him to use this card only once since it's an opening specials card. And now we're going to pick what the image is, the image that will represent an unclaimed loyalty point. So let's just pick one there. Okay, and let's pick an image for a claimed loyalty point. Pick that one there, and we are going to save it. You will now notice that you have a loyalty card in your application on the right over here with nine claimable loyalty points or stamps. Uh, nine validated points equals a free coffee. One loyalty point equals $10 spent. You've got to log in to access it. And as soon as somebody claimed a loyalty point, that image will change to the little coffee that we set up as the claimed loyalty point. Right, let's look at the next one, contact. Contact is where you can put in all your contact information. We've got our restaurant name, Beach Restaurant over there. We can insert a cover image if we like. And then we can put all the other details in there. 913-335-334. So telephone number. We can put an address. We can put a zip code, city, country, description, email address, website. Website, Facebook. Once again, we can put our Facebook page. But over here, we will put our page URL. and a twitter handle if we want and there we go we've built our contacts page and this is what it looks like beach restaurant our header image phone number website and facebook so whatever information you feed in here will show up on your application that's our contact sorted out let's do bookings okay Bookings, you've got two things you've got to fill in, location and email. So if you have more than one location, you can add them all over here and people will be able to pick which location they want to book for. We only have one location, so we go the one at the beach and the emails must go to the manager. And there we go. We've got our booking form set up. People can add a booking form and as soon as they send it, it will be sent to that email address that we just specified. Set meal. Okay, that's our menu. Let's look at that quickly. So for set meal, or let's just change that to menu. And we'll keep that icon. Let's add. Coffee, price is $10, hot coffee, we can add a description, 
uh, if we have any rules or things we can add them in there let's take a picture of the coffee and we're going to press ok and there's our first menu item now we can add more chicken lunch price 20 nice chicken we can add a picture let's see if we have a picture of a chicken there we go okay and we've added a second menu item and that way we can carry on this restaurant is not a very big restaurant so we only serve coffee and chicken and we will move on to the next you can see that you can edit the menu items at any time you can delete them and you can shift them around if you please you can also change the layout and design at the moment the design is just in a list format which you can change it into a grid format or into a masonry grid format should you please actually I like the masonry grid let's stick with it there are other features that you can add if you want to split your menus up and have different sections but for now we're not going to look at that and there we go that is our uh, that is our menu set and we are going to save and continue now we get to the last part we need to do change the icon This is our beach restaurant icon. As you can see, it changed right over there, and that's what it's going to look like on the phone. And now we have to add the startup images, which most cases will be the same as the homepage images. We just have to add them separately to make sure we cover all the different phone screen sizes. And that folks is that we've uploaded the pictures now we're going to hit save and continue and there we go we need to quickly publish our application we're going to give it a name the bundle id we're not going to touch you can monetize your app using an ad mob if you have an ad mob account otherwise you can just leave as is and then we are going to generate the build. Now, Android APK is what you will use if you just want to look at your app first on your phone. So, in other words, not send it to the App Store. You just want to look at it on your phone. But Android APK is also what you will upload when you publish your app. So, you will upload it to the Android App Store. We're just going to click Generate APK. The APK will be queued and it takes a bit of time to generate and then if you want to upload to the iOS store once you are happy with it you can just click right over here and it will automatically generate the code and auto upload the app to your iTunes to the app store you just need an iTunes connect account and the app will be auto uploaded to the app store you can, of course, if you want to upload yourself or manually, there's all the source code at the bottom down here. So you can download the Xcode and Android Studio versions if you want. And then we also have the option of done for you app publication for a minimal fee. I think it's about $10 or $15. You don't have to worry about that part at all. We will handle the whole thing for you and upload your publication. 
And there you go. You just press save and exit. And you've built your first mobile app and uploaded it to the App Store. Cheers.